Welcome back in today's episode. You ask the questions and we give you the answers. Today's topic, what should I be learning and where should I get it? Welcome to this edition of Peak Peak Performance Performance Podcast Podcast. with your host, Thor Conklin. Thor will be sharing the necessary tools, strategies, and psychology you'll need to become a peak performer in any area of your life or business. Thor Conklin here. We give you the tricks, the tips, the tools, the strategy, the technology, and the psychology peak performers use in order to get more done and execute at the highest level. If you know what to do but struggle with getting it all done or simply want to raise your game to the next level, this podcast is for you. Sit back and enjoy. Today's question comes in from Elaine in Chicago, and Elaine asks, Thor, what are the top business books I should be reading? Wow, that's a great, uh, great question. Well, hello. Uh, was it Elaine? Yes, Elaine. Excellent. Well, thanks for uh, asking this question. First of all, I read, I can't tell you how many books. Well, actually, let's back up for a second. I don't read that many books, <laughs> but I do have someone read them to me. It's not me. No, it's not. Uh, it's not her. Although sometimes it is me. That's right. If you're not using Audible, you absolutely have to. Audible.com. Actually, we even have a free trial for you and a free download book. They're one of our sponsors. They are indeed one of our sponsors. Simply go to audibletrial.com forward slash peak performers. So I have probably 600 books on tape and I'm constantly listening to them while I'm driving. I'm going to the gym and you've heard that before, but I'm going to give you the top 10 books that I read or was read to me (laughs) over the last year. Perfect. Now, this one is a uh, oldie but a goodie, and this is Guerrilla Marketing by Jay Levinson. And what I love about Guerrilla Marketing is, I think, since it's, I think it was written like 20 years ago, I think we've forgotten about it. And we get into this mindset of, I've got to do everything online, and if it's not online, it doesn't exist, and it's not a good strategy. Bullshit. You've got to read this book again. And take the concepts and start to apply them. There's all kinds of different ways to be marketing. And business comes down to what? Marketing. It's all about the marketing. Uh, Another great book this year, The One Thing by Gary Keller, Mm -hmm. the founder of uh, Keller Williams. Great, great book. Talking about the importance of focusing on one thing. We interviewed the head of the one thing. Yes, the senior VP of uh, of the the new uh, company that he's creating. The Compound Effect, Darren Hardy. Great, great book. Talks about doing little things over and over again and the compound effect that that produces. Obsessed by Grant Cardone. Grant's insane. He's obsessed. Check him out. Great, great book. I think I listened to that book literally about eight times. I remember. You really liked it. I really did. I became obsessed about the book. And I actually put it on two times speed. That's the other thing about Audible, which is great. You can listen to these audiobooks at twice the speed. 15 Secrets Successful People Know About Time Management. And that is by, who is that by? I just interviewed him. Yeah. Um, Kevin? No, Kevin Krause? Kevin, Kevin Krause. Is that his book? Yes, it is. Okay. That's by Kevin Krause. Great, great book. He interviewed a bunch of badass entrepreneurs and got all this information, combined them into a book. Mm-hmm. Easy read. And what I love about it, it's just like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Great information. That book's really an amalgamation of thought leadership. Yeah, it was awesome. You squared your favorite boyfriend. Oh, my Price Pritchett. Yes, Hi, Price Pritchett. Price. If you haven't heard Thor's interview with Price Pritchett on this podcast, you must go listen to it. I am convinced that Price is one of the most thoughtful people and I mean that word by its denotation, what thoughtful really means, thinking. Uh, thoughtful people Thor's ever interviewed. Go check that interview out. Price Pritchett. Yeah, he's a master. He does uh, M&A work, mergers with big pharmaceutical companies. The guy is brilliant. He, he is close to a genius. I, I just like him. Well, I like his style that he cuts everything down really, really quick and doesn't add any filler to anything. Mm-hmm. It's all about time. Scaling Up by Vern Harnish. Great, great book. Crush It by Gary V. Gotta love Gary V. Any of Gary V's books. Check it out. Crush It. The Shredded Executive. Now you Damon. Said, yeah, Damon Sewell. Now, you're probably asking, well, how did Damon Sewell get in here as a business book? But if you're not taking care of your health, your fitness, I don't care. You cannot play the game of business at the highest level. Give it up. 
Get your body, get your mind in shape. And the body part, <laughs> Damon will take care of that. Damon's he will very shred in your you. Face. He's very in your face. Be prepared for that. And if you listen to that episode, make sure the kids are not listening along with you. <laughs> and the last one is a book that was recommended by someone I interviewed a few months ago. I had never heard of it. Napoleon Hill. It's not the one that you're thinking. Napoleon Hill wrote a book. His wife would not let him publish it. She died. He was dead. She died. It never got published. Then the heirs that took over the estate got the rights to it and then published it in like the 90s or or maybe even 2000. It is called Napoleon Hill Outwitting the Devil. Mm. Napoleon Hill has a conversation with the devil. It's a fascinating book. It is really, really good. So those are the top 10 for, let's call it 2016. We're now into 2017. I'll issue another uh, list as well. But that's a great place to start. And and here's the thing I want to impress upon you, that it's great to consume a lot of information, but take the information and act on it. If you're reading a book and you get two chapters into it and you come up with this aha moment, and you want to execute on something, something that you really want to implement in your business, close the book and then implement it. And when you're done implementing it, you're done mastering it, come back and do it again. Open up the book, start reading again. Don't consume information just to consume information. Do something with it. Don't let these books become shelf help. Isn't that what you say? Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's where you just buy the book and it just sits on the shelf. Oh, yeah, don't do that. But I also don't want you to just read the book and go, oh, that was a really neat concept. Isn't that nice? (laughs) That's what most people do. True. It's true. That's true. Find a concept, run with it, kill it, crush it, move on to the next one. Thanks, Elaine. Thank you so much for listening today. I really do appreciate your time, and I hope you found today's show valuable. If you would like to receive these shows automatically, to your phone or to your computer, simply go to iTunes and subscribe. After listening to several of the shows, if you're so inclined, please leave us a five-star rating as this helps us reach additional people and spread the message. If you're truly committed to taking your life to the next level and doing whatever it takes to become a peak performer, but something's holding you back, something is blocking your way, and you just can't seem to figure out what it is, send me an email to info at thorconklin.com. And I'd be more than happy to get on the phone with you. We'll schedule a 15-minute discovery call. No obligation, no cost. I absolutely love to hear from the listeners. And if there's something I can do to help, I'd be more than happy to do that. Also, if you found something of great interest in today's show and you want to share that with your friends and family, simply go to my Facebook page, Thor Conklin. Click on the episode, hit the share button, and share it on your page. You can follow me at Twitter at Thor Conklin. The website is ThorConklin.com. We're constantly adding new free resources, discussing additional tricks, tips, tools, and strategies on how to be a peak performer. Remember, I try to keep these episodes short so you can listen to them during dot time, doing other things, commuting, driving, walking, working out. Decide to be a peak performer in all that you do. And until tomorrow, have an absolutely amazing day.